That's the big rush, Dennis. I want to build our snowman before all this great snow melts. <laughs> I have a feeling this snow might last until after we have a cup of hot cocoa. Hot cocoa? How can you think about cocoa at a time like this? <laughs> Sorry, I guess I lost my head. Watch it! Ah. <laughs> Very funny. You boys go build your snowman. I'll bring the cocoa to you. This will be his base. And this will be his head. No, no, that's all wrong. The diameter of the base should be exactly three and a half times larger than the circumference of the head. I was afraid this might happen. Let's see now. The total of the mass multiplied by the coordinate of the weight displacement should give us the correct algebraic equation. Come to think of it, Dad, hot cocoa sounds pretty good. Cocoa? How can you think about cocoa at a time like this? There must be an echo up here. Ugh. Ugh. What? What? Stop! Stop it, Dennis! Daddy! was a nice cup of hot cocoa, but no, we had to build a snowman. Wow! Dennis, don't lean over too far, it's dangerous. Look, Dad, a real bird's nest. Let's take it home! should take them back to their mom and dad? Whoa, hey, ouch! You, you don't understand! Ouch, stop it! Ouch, what? Whoa. Hey, Dad, wait for me! Whoa. made a pretty big snowman. Henry? Dennis? Where are you? Right here, Mom. My goodness. Uh, right here, Alice. You men. You really do throw yourselves into your work, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Right, 
Here goes my latest scientific experiment. Like the hydroxylation electro balance. That's just what I was gonna suggest. Maybe some of this blue stuff will help. No, Joey, not that. <laughs> wow! Did you see that? Yeah, but I don't anymore. Wow! Joey, look out! Whoa! turned invisible! I've invented an invisibility potion! Now, if I could only remember how I did it. Uh, Joey, where'd you go? I'm right here, Dennis. Huh? Oh, no! Joey's turned invisible, too! How can you tell? Look! Mm -hmm. Joey, PB will have you back to normal in no time. Right, PB? Uh, of course I will. I hope. I've got an idea. This flower will make him visible again. Hey, now I'm all white. I think he looked better when he was invisible. He's invisible again. I'm tired of you guys experimenting with me. I'm leaving. No, Joey, wait. Holy macaroni! George, I've been thinking of getting a new hairdo. What kind would you suggest? <laughs> George, I like it. He's got to be around here somewhere, Phoebe. Look! Excuse me, Mr. Policeman. Huh? Who said that? I did, officer. I have this little problem. Do you think you could help me out? Ah, uh, I think so. What's the problem? Uh, never mind, officer. Three of us will solve it. All three of you? See you around, officer. Phew, that was a close one. What do we do now? There's only one recourse. We must see Professor Squiggins. Ah, Peavy, my prodigious pupil, what brings you here? Professor Squiggins, this is my friend Dennis. A pleasure to meet you, Dennis. No, Professor, this is Dennis. I'm Peavy. Ah, nice to meet you, Peavy. Hey, what about me? Who said that? Joey did. Hmm. You look a bit pale, Joey. You should try to get out in the sun more. You see, Professor, Joey's invisible. I see. Or rather, I, I don't see. How did it happen? I'm afraid it was an overdose of electrothermal spectrographic megatrons. You know, the usual thing. Hmm. This calls for radical measures. Now then, what shall it be? Injections, transfusions, electroshock treatment. Mm. Or none of the above. Joey, wait! Come back! Look, the pair of running shoes I told you about. Come on, get them! Me. Huh? Who 
said that? There he is. Oh, over there. Or else there's a great sale going on. There! Whoa! I got him! Quick, out the back door! This is getting crazy. We've got to get him some clothes. Good idea. Meanwhile, let's cover him with this. Now let's sneak him into that department store. Excuse me, mister. Can we borrow some clothes for my friend here? Certainly not. Come on, guys. I knew he'd say no. <laughs> did, did I say no? I meant yes. Take anything you want. People can sure pull you. At first, I didn't think he'd be such a nice guy. There. How's that? Well, we've got him covered all right, but he's still invisible. There simply must be a solution to this situation. Yeah, if we don't do something fast, folks are gonna notice. Or worse yet, not notice. Joey, stand up straight. You're getting your new clothes all wrinkled. Oh no, not again. Hi, Mrs. Mitchell. Can I have a glass of water? Help yourself, Joey. I think I'm ready for a vacation. Hey! Mr. Wilson has lots of old books in his attic. Maybe there's one about invisible potions and stuff. It's certainly worth a try. Mrs. Wilson, can we look in your attic for something? All right, but try to be quiet. Something Mr. Wilson saw today seems to have upset him. Don't worry, we won't make a sound. Nice haircut, Mrs. Wilson. Why, thank you, Joey. Joey? Forget it, guys. There's nothing here that can help us. Martha! Uh-oh, it's Mr. Wilson. Tell me, Martha, have you seen anything unusual today? Only a pair of shoes and a hat floating by. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Kind of a oh. laugh. <laughs> it's that ghost again. Keep him away from me. Whoa! Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wilson. You see, we kind of turned Joey invisible by accident. And now we're trying to fix him back again. Did you try giving him a bath? A bath? Nuh-uh, no way! Now come along, Joey. We'll have you spick and visible in no time. Ah! Poor guy, a bath. Actually, water might be just the thing to activate the reversal process. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, you two. Which way did he go? I'll catch that pesky ghost if it takes all day. He's in the bathtub, Mr. Wilson, but... No buts about it. I'll fix that apparition once and for all. Oh! I got him! I got him! Got who, dear? The ghost, of course. You mean Joey. Gee. I wish my mom would let me take a bath with all my clothes on. You mean that apparition was Joey? It certainly was. You can get out of the bathtub now, George. My favorite sweater. It's wrong. Hey, now it's my size. Mr. Wilson, can I borrow it next time Phoebe makes me invisible? <laughs> You're 
going to try finishing Dennis's new playroom by yourself, Henry? Yeah, George. I figure I can save money that way. That's good. Anything I can do, just ask. I appreciate that. Thanks. Then again... Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hi, Dad. Are we ready to start? What are you doing? Ouch! Gosh darn, that woman! <laughs> did you hit the wrong nail? Yes, I did. Now, please, just go over there and measure that board. Okay. Hey, Dan! Ouch! Ow! What is it? I can't hold the tape measure straight. It keeps rolling up. Now, you hold this end and don't let go till I tell you. Can I let go? No, not yet. How about now? Okay, let go. No, wait! Yeah! It's going to be kind of hard to work like that. Hit the return on the tape measure. This? Yes, hit the switch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now he knows what I go through every day. <laughs> what are you doing now? Making sure this quick-drying cement is just right. I'm going to lay down a foundation. Oh, I get it. Dennis, get back a little. Here goes. That's going to take a lot of cement. Dennis, step to the side. <laughs> like that statue at the park. Even the pigeons think so. Get me out of here! Sure, Dad. Look out, guys! <laughs> Good thing it's not me. Is that where the door's going to be? Yes. How are you going to make the hole for it? Knock one out. With my help? No, by myself. Now finish that sanding job I told you to do. I'm sure if I helped him knock out that wall, Dad would let me work on something more interesting. There, that's good. Now to start... <laughs> what are you doing? Helping you knock out the wall! Put that down! Stop, Dennis! That was easy. Yow! Are you all right, Dad? Wow, a motorized pogo stick! Stop it, Dennis! Get off that right this minute! Why? You want to try to? Ow! <laughs> if you just waited, you could have gone next. Some other time, Dennis. Uh oh, it's going to fall. Move, Dennis. Nails. If I hurry, I may be able to save it. No problem. This magnet will do the trick. Yes. Here you go. Where'd you get them from? There was a whole bunch of them stuck in the wood of the... me to wash your car. <laughs> it's been a great day. <laughs>
Happy Jack! <laughs>